Sometimes when you download a model from the internet or when you forget to export your substance asset with the correct preset, you'll end up with a normal map that just looks wrong. Here, for example, we can clearly see that the branches and rocks on the ground look indented instead of sticking out. This is because of the slightly different way DirectX and OpenGL interpret normal maps. So if we went ahead and exported this with the sampler's default settings and tried to render it in Redshift, the result won't look right. The displacement map is doing one thing and then the normal map is doing the exact opposite. Here's how the inverted normal map renders and this is how it's supposed to look. So let's see how we can fix this. There are two ways to go about it. One is by using an image editing tool like Photoshop and the other one involves adjusting the normal map directly in Redshift. Let's start with Photoshop first because it'll be easier to understand what's going on there and then we'll do the same thing in Cinema. The only thing different between DirectX and OpenGL is how the green channel is interpreted. So if we go to the green channel and invert it by pressing Command I or going to Image, Adjustments and then Invert, we'll get the normal map we're after. As you can see, now the branches and the rocks look like they're sticking out. And just to be on the safe side, let's grab the correct normal map and overlay it on top of the adjusted map. If I turn it on and off, nothing is changing the maps are exactly the same. We can now just save the image and load it in Redshift and we're good to go. In some rare occasions you might stumble onto these types of normal maps. In this case we don't invert the green channel, we just invert the whole image and we use the same command as before. And now we have the correct map we can use inside Cinema. Let's check now how we can invert the normal map inside Redshift. Here we have the material using the inverted normal map. If we go to the bump map node, not the actual image, but the node where we connect the image, there's this flip normal Y option. Click on that and the material will now render correctly. Personally, I prefer to have the image set up correctly from the get-go, so if I stumble on an inverted normal map, I just fix it in Photoshop and resave it. But it's up to you. Both solutions will give you the exact same result. So if you want to do it directly in Cinema, it's absolutely fine. And that's it. Super quick and easy to fix. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.